All right, if you are reviewing this test, then you should know that our main strategy is to save whole passage questions for last, right? When we don't read the passage, we need to do this because we have no idea what the whole passage is about, so we have to save them for the end after we've done everything else. Even if we've read the passage, though, it is in our interest to save this because all the other questions are going to direct us to the parts of the passage that matter. So if you are reviewing this test, skip this video right now and go to question 35. That is the first question that you should do in this passage. This passage is weird because it has three whole passage questions, but in number 35 I'll talk about that, and then only after you've done all the other questions for this passage should you come back to this. Okay, now that those people are gone, we can look at this one uh, in more detail. Hopefully you've learned a lot from the other questions. So, main purpose of the passage. Remember, my job, even on the passages that are very difficult to understand, is to just get the, the biggest view of things as possible. And one thing that can help me with that is the blurb at the beginning, because it sometimes gives me valuable information about what I'm about to read. So, this passage is adapted from Virginia Woolf, Three Guineas, 1938, by Harcourt Incorporated. Here, Woolf considers the situation of women in English society. And by now, I've read enough of the passage, knowing that that's, yeah, of course what she's talking about. She's talking about women and women's role in society and how that is changing. And so, yeah, this, this fits with my own summary of what's going on. Dumb summary. So, just look at these choices and see if that matches with your own feeling about this. Are they talking about the value, emphasizing the value of a tradition? We'll turn the choice into a question. What is the tradition? Women's role in society is the tradition, maybe. But if that's the case, then why is it valuable? She's talking about how that role is changing, how things are moving in a different direction. So that doesn't seem to match. This maybe seems like the opposite of what the passage is about. It is meant to stress the urgency of an issue. Well, what's the issue? Women's rights, women's role. Okay, so that checks out. Is it urgent? Well, I, I do seem to recall a question uh, I believe it was number uh, 30, 40, I think it was question 40, um, oh no, no, 38 and 39, 38 and 39, that together the answer had to do with how pressing this issue is. We also had the question about thinking and how they have to think everywhere, and now is the moment to be thinking. So we had other questions that told us that this was urgent. So look, this is why we save these questions for last, because the other questions are going to give you the main idea of the whole passage. It's, it's annoying that it's backwards, but it makes total sense. The other questions are not asking you about random facts. They're asking you about the main ideas. They're just asking you in a way that narrows your focus to smaller chunks of the passage. But when you get to the main, the big picture question, the same main ideas are gonna hold. And so your knowledge from those other questions is helping you. It absolutely tells me the choice B is probably right. But let's look at C, let's look at D. Highlight the severity of social divisions. Well again, are they talking about social divisions? It seems to be suggesting that the divisions are going away, right? So if they're talking about how severe they are, it, it has like the wrong tone. This is maybe a negative tone when the passage has a much more positive tone about what's happening to those social divisions. So even if you're kind of like checking off that idea, it, it doesn't seem to match in terms of tone. And again, we can keep it dumb. Positives and negatives is a perfectly good way to do a dumb summary of what's going on. D, question the, fe the feasibility of an undertaking. Well, what is the undertaking? That women should have more rights, maybe. You could make that fit, but then why is it? Why would we be questioning that, right? She seems to be saying that that is happening and that is a good thing. So this seems negative, even if we we assume the undertaking is women's rights. But that is, I think is even questionable in itself. There's a much better fit for B, right? When I ask those questions about the words in that choice, I don't have wishy-washy answers that I'm trying to force to fit. I have definitive answers. What is the issue? Women in English society. Is it urgent? Yes. It talks about how uh, 
little time we have to answer these questions and how the moment is short. So we have everything we need. We can point to things to say that. That is how we get confident in our answer. And, and that's why I didn't really bother to get a very complicated summary to start this question. I don't recommend that. You don't need to come up with your own summary that's more that's complicated. A summary could be a word or two. Uh, a more complicated summary isn't necessary because the answer choices provide you with more complicated summaries. Your job is not to write a summary, it is to test the summaries that you are given. Hard passage, easy question, if we understand our goal and the strategies that we're gonna to use to get there.